I've been getting a lot of questions about Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, and Lightroom. Three kind of great programs for editing your photos. What are the differences between those? So I just wanted to kind of highlight the strengths and weaknesses of each of those programs. But before we do that, let's real quick, it is Tuesday, which means it must be Teaser Tuesday, or as I lovely said last night, Tuzer. And very timely, just arrived today, is a wonderful box of stuff from Cotton Carrier. This is a different way to carry your camera. You get rid of the straps. This one I'm holding up here, there's more in here, is a belt system. Um, but it all kind of revolves around having this kind of holster style with something that you screw into the bottom of your tripod socket on your camera. Um, and then you can slide it in here. I'm really excited to try this. I've been intrigued by it for a while. Uh, I love my Black Rabbit strap, um, and I probably will keep wearing that. But I want to try this out, uh, especially at a wedding or two, to see if by the end of the night I'm a little tired of having straps on both sides with a bag, lens exchanger, um, and uh, uh, other strap across me. And uh, I want to see if this is offers a little bit more comfort. And so I'm really excited to try that. And What's exciting is this bag is full of other varieties of the cotton carrier system. I will be doing full reviews and talking all about them soon. And then when I'm done, I get to give them away. So on top of the other sweepstakes slash giveaway that's going on, there will be more stuff coming very soon. Make sure you're following. Make sure you're liking posts as they go up on Facebook because that does help keep it in your feed. And you don't want to miss something exciting like, I'm giving this away. First 10 comments might be the winners. Probably won't do that. That sounds a little unfair, but I want to be following along. All right, let's talk about these three programs, and I'm going to demo briefly, very briefly, uh, Photoshop and Lightroom. I don't have uh, Photoshop Elements installed. Let's start with Photoshop. That is kind of the big daddy program. The weakness of that program is it's expensive and it has a fairly steep learning curve. You know, it comes in at about $600. Uh, just recently, Photoshop, very recently within this week, Photoshop or Adobe has announced that they're moving to the all subscription based model for future Photoshop and their other programs as well, which means that you won't be able to outright buy it. You will basically rent it. It's got its pros and cons there. I don't want to get down that road of which is best. Um, I do like the idea of you just kind of paying this fee and you always have the upgraded version. You don't have to mull over whether or not you want to upgrade. But there definitely are cons to it as well. It's going to run somewhere between $30 to $50 a month. Um, it does give you access to more than just Photoshop, uh, which is nice. But it is the program that does everything. You can bring a picture in, including a RAW file. It has camera RAW editing, and then you bring it in, and you can do all of your changes, exposure, white balance, saturation. And then on top of that, of course, you can do what I call your heavier lifting, clone stamping, selecting something. Let's take a look for just a few seconds. Uh, here I have a image open in Photoshop that I've previously edited. I took this um, a few weekends ago. And I was pretty happy with the way it came out. I like this. This was shot with a Nikon D5200 and the 40 millimeter macro lens. One of the things that I didn't like, though, is one of these little, uh, I'm blanking on what kind of flower these are right now, crocus. Um, one of them was da badly damaged and looked kind of rough. And so I just cloned one of the other petals over top of that. So that's one of the easy things to do. You can select an area. Let me go to the other layer and you can select an area and copy and paste that someplace else in the document and then move it around. One of the, reason, one of the ways that this is very helpful is let's say you take a group photo of uh, five pictures and four of them Uncle Bob has his eyes closed and in the one where he has his eyes open and is smiling nicely, the bride is making a funny face. And so what you can do is take his open eyes and put it in one of the other four where the bride doesn't look as goofy. Uh, it's, it's a really nice program, but as I said, it's expensive. It's going to take some time to learn, and it's not great for working with a lot of photos at once. There are ways, there are actions you can set up and build and say apply all of this to all of these photos. There is a program that comes along with Photoshop called Bridge that will help you keep your organized your photos organized, rated, and starred. But it is separate, and the two of them, they work well together, but you're moving back and forth between the two of them. And again, let's come back to that price. It is very expensive. 
um, and you, you know, it's expensive. But it also does text and things of that sort. Let's talk about its little brother, Photoshop Elements. Photoshop Elements has a lot of the features of Photoshop uh, in three modes. You have your beginner mode, a guided mode, and an expert mode. And at each of those levels, it gives you access to more and more tools and holds your hand a little bit less. In the beginner mode, there's very few tools. It keeps the interface very simple um, and with a lot of help text. Guided mode is kind of a little bit of a blend between the two, does it make sense? It's got a lot of help text on there, but it gives you access to more of the tools and kind of tries to teach you as you go along. It has decent organization tagging. It even has geotagging, which I love. Uh, as I've said before, I'm a little bit of a map nerd. I love to see my pictures plotted on a map. Um, it does have some of that cut and paste and text on the image, so all of that is there. It retails for about $100. Um, and it works with raw files just fine. Now let's talk about Lightroom, which I think if you've ever, if you've watched other videos of mine, you've heard me say Lightroom before. I even have videos up on basic introduction to Lightroom. Lightroom, also about $100, um, is the, excels at working with a large number of raw files very quickly and allows you to make edits and adjustments. You don't have those text tools. You don't have the heavy lifting of cut and paste. You do have some nicer clone stamp tools. Um, and in the beta 5 that's coming out, the uh, clone stamp tool has gotten even a little bit more powerful. They don't call it that. but um, So that's there. But you can't really take eyes from one and put them on another. That, that isn't in there. Or the cut and paste of uh, leaf parts and things like that. But it wasn't until I started using Lightroom that I really started feeling comfortable shooting RAW 100% of the time. Because prior to that, working with Photoshop and Bridge, you had to open that image up in Camera Raw, put it into Photoshop, work on it, pass it back over. And Lightroom, it's like, I don't care. I don't care if it's RAW. I don't care if it's JPEG. Bring it in. Thousands of photos. You can organize them, very nice organization scheme, all right within the program. You move over to the develop module, and suddenly you are just editing the pictures, adjusting the white balance, exposure. And let's say, oftentimes, it's in a professional photography setting, you're going to head out somewhere, and you're going to shoot 100 or 1,000 pictures in similar conditions. You edit the first couple of them, and then you can take those settings and very quickly apply it on the next 10, 15, 20, 100 pictures, and all of them are going to look wonderful very, very quickly. Uh, it's really nice, and it does a great job. And then you just export them out as JPEGs, and it's not really an extra step. You just hit that button. You need to save your changes anyway, um, and off they go to Facebook or your uh, Zenfolio or wherever you want to save or, or sorry, share those images. It's really nice, really efficient tool. And of course, it's got the mapping module and it's got the book module and tie in with blurb and things like that. If you want to shoot raw often and you want to be able to process lots of photos, Lightroom is a great answer. If you're really just kind of dabbling in editing your photos, you're not so crazy about shooting raw, um, you feel like it's a little bit of extra hassle that you don't want to deal with, shouldn't feel that way. Lightroom helps you. Then Photoshop Elements is a perfectly fine answer. If you want power and you have the money, there is, of course, Photoshop. There are alternative editing programs out there. Um, and depending on what format, what program you use, I tell you what, Lightroom combined with something like Acorn on Mac is a really nice combination. Acorn is a $50 Photoshop replacement, definitely not a complete replacement because again, Photoshop does everything from editing video to creating animations to applying a bajillion filters. But Acorn does 90% of what people need. That combined with Lightroom gives you the power to grow plus the power to edit from time to time. On Windows, I'm sure there's some out there it's like paint.net. That might not be the best example. There are others. And I've been, I wrote a recent blog post about this. There's even a web based version. Uh, a edit photo editing version that does some of what Photoshop does, that cut and paste um, and text and tools and things of that sort. And that is completely free. So I encourage everybody to really try Lightroom. All of these programs are available to try for 30 days. Uh, you're going to have to sit down and use them. Take your time. I have a 20-minute intro to Lightroom video. You, of course, can watch that. Um, and there's lots of other uh, Lightroom tutorials out there. It's a really nice program. 
That's where you should go if you want to be serious about shooting raw and working efficiently with pictures. But you have other options that are nice as well. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about any of those three programs, just leave a comment down below or come over and find me on Facebook. And as I said, stay tuned on Facebook because Cotton Carrier stuff giveaway is coming plus the other giveaway. And I've been shooting this video with the Canon 5D Mark III and the Nikon D5200. So I may occasionally switch them back and forth and just label that as well. Or I might just put that up as a separate video and say, here's what these two cameras look like shooting video. Thanks so much for watching. 